Hi everyone, it's Jess. Um, I wanted to come and film this with all of you. Sorry, I just made my camera shake a bunch. I didn't realize it did that when I put my hands on my desk. Anyways, I have a giant stack of paper here. Um, I don't know if you can really tell how thick this is, but it is one inch. It is one inch of pattern papers and this is all one manufacturer. So this is all Echo Park paper. So for this year, I am going to try to only use pattern paper from my collection because this is only one <laughs> manufacturer on my shelves out of, well, there's a lot. There's too many to count quickly. So for January, I'm going to be using Echo Park and I think, yeah, Echo Park comes back in October as well because this is a lot, <laughs> a lot of paper. So today I'm gonna pull out, um, I don't know, what's a good number from this, like 20, 20 sheets of pattern paper and that's what I'm going to make videos with for the month um, on, well, some of what I'm going to make videos for on the month. On the next month, we're going to be using Cartabella. Cartabella and Echo Park go together. Anyways, in conjunction, or along with, if you don't want to be fancy, um, Echo Park paper this month, I said I was going to be using Mickey punches, star punches, and flare badges because it is January 11th. I am supposed to be in Disney World right now. Obviously, I'm not. <laughs> Um, we had a little bit of a, a health issue with one of the people who was going on the trip with us, so we're not there. So, let me see. I'm going to switch my Mickey punches out with something else. Um, I don't know what yet because I'm probably not going to be scrapbooking a lot of Disney pictures. Um, I don't have a lot of Disney pictures that I haven't scrapbooked yet. So, yeah, I'm going to think about it while I pull through or go through the paper. I'm also probably not going to use this Animal Kingdom paper collection because um, I bought it for Disney pages. It's very tropical. It's actually like a zoo collection, but I mean, if you don't use the obvious animal pieces, it's quite tropical. Um, this is probably one of my favorite papers in the whole collection though. I love this paper. But I don't think I'm going to use it for this probably would have been better to decide what pictures I want to scrapbook, but I think I'm just going to pull out some generic pictures. This is probably one of my favorite sheets of paper. Um, I've used it a lot. I've had a lot of it. This is from a kit that I had. Um, I recently have been... Um, redoing my scrapbook room. Oh, I'm going to pull this paper out because I have pictures um, of us playing cards and board games and stuff and um, I'll print those and scrapbook them. Okay, I was just making sure I didn't hit the unpause button. Or else you are going to hear Broadway songs really loud. <laughs> I'm just going to go to my phone and um, print those pictures quickly before I forget because I would forget um, this one. I actually have one of the songs that I've been listening to stuck in my head. So this is going to be my first sheet of paper and it is for something specific. So um, I don't know if I'll count it in the total. Trying to just find papers that I like 
that I want to work with. Like this one. This is a great paper because it's just polka dots. I mean, on the back is cake stuff, but this side is just polka dots. So there's one. Two. I'm not going to scrapbook any fall pictures. Look, there's another one of this one. This one. <laughs> I'm gonna pull this one. Three. Oh, I've used so much of this paper. Four. Five and six. I knew I said I wasn't gonna do any fall pages, but I really like this red. Um, I'm going to pull this one for a specific project too, so I'm not going to count it in the total either. So I have six pages so far. Well, these are from different collections, but these two purples are almost exactly the same. Seven, eight. This is not an Echo Park paper. Oh, I like this one. Nine. Ten. I'm slipping through these quick. This is all one collection. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, I like this thing, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, this is, that was Disney paper. Okay. Hold on, I just don't want to split up this uh, Alice in Wonderland paper here. Eighteen. I wonder if I have pictures from Kentucky, so... I'm going to pull these out um, again for specific projects because I have a lot of paper in my collection of the puppies in the snow. This is very patriotic but I really like it. I'm not American but I really like that. Okay. So only two more pieces of paper. Oh here's one. 19. I already pulled out the paper. See, this is why I need to go through the Echo Park paper. Oh, I love that paper. Oh. Okay, I'm just pulling extra papers because I need some more colors that I can mix and match here because um, there's some interesting color combinations going on. So, I need something to go with this dark green. And maybe the brighter green. So let's just look for something that goes with those and then that will be good. We're back to more Disney papers, mermaids. <laughs> oh, this is always a good one. Navy blue stars. More navy blue stars. I have a lot of this Little Dreamer collection because it has some really nice papers on it. Oh, I want to use this paper because it's from 2015. This is a really old Echo Park paper and I think it's the only one that I have left from this collection. Okay, so that's enough paper. Okay, 
So I'm just going to throw this uh, wood grain in because I think it'll make a good background. All right. Now, let's see. The goal is to be able to fit all this on one paper shelf, but that's not going to happen. There's no way this is going back on one paper shelf. So, next. My next process is going to be dividing this up into page kit layouts, I guess. So I already have a couple. So I have this one. I have this one, which is very wintry, which is very appropriate for this time of year. I like the red and the blue together, and I'll probably add... I don't know what else, because if I add white, then it really will be like 4th of July collection. Um, but maybe just some more, I don't know. I can definitely make a layout with three sheets of paper though, without any problem. So that's fine. So that's one. And then the other one is I pulled this out because I have pictures of us playing cards now. This is the picture, um, one of the pictures. I'm just going to print the other one quickly. I, you can watch me use my app if you want. It's not hard. It's a really easy app to use. It's the Epson, oops, the Epson Creative Print, I think, that's what it's called. Okay. This is why I wanted to find the, the pictures though, because um, our pictures, it's really yellow for one, but there's a lot of red and brown and blue in the picture. So that actually works really well with this. So maybe I just find some of this teal cause it'll, or this light blue, maybe it'll match the tablecloth and then some red. So that might be difficult to find in this pile. I'm not going to lie. The teal won't be hard to find, but the red will, if it exists at all. Here's some of that blue. I think there's this red, but it's not the same shade of red. So I'm just going to switch it with this one. It's still not exactly the same shade, but it's closer. So this is two. Now, those are my only two projects that I specifically know that I want to make. Oh, my phone is informing me of an Uber Eats deal. Okay. Let's see. I want to do something with these. And I think I'm going to pair it with this navy blue paper here because I really like pink and yellow and navy together. So that's going to be four or three rather. Apparently I can't count. Okay, let's do something with this green. Let's see. Do I want to put the two greens together maybe? What do they look like? Because this is a tone on tone green. And this green is a very, very close match to that green. So maybe I put the two greens together with like a bright, like pink. This is the same pattern, but. These are the same collection, actually, these two papers. Mm, I don't really like that. These two are the same collection. Oh, sorry, I had to sneeze because I just blew out my candle. And it makes me have to sneeze. Okay. So maybe I'll just put these three together. They're all from, well, this is I Love Summer and this is A Slice of Summer. So, I mean, they're going to match. This is 2019, 2019, 2021. That's four. Let's put something on this wood grain as background. Maybe I'll use these two together with this wood grain. Mm, 
Yeah, I'm not really sure about that pink with it. I do like this green with it. It's very like forest looking. Some of the back. Oh, this is really nice too. Okay, I'm gonna do this. And then I can use the other side of this paper. Yeah. Five. Let's see what else I have for a background in here. This would make a really good background. Actually, a lot of these would. If I had planned better, I would have sorted them into backgrounds and non-backgrounds. Oh, this um, this one I'm using for certain layout, but I think it's just going to end up being cut up and put on papers with, um, like as accent pieces, because there's a whole album I'm making, and I think I'm going to spread that out through the whole album. And I only have one piece of paper. So, that's fun. Okay, I'm going to put these three together. I'll ask count. I'll count at the end, and we can go from there. But yeah, I was trying to spread these out so I could see all the papers. And I think I pulled them out for these sides. Although, oh, there's a good background. Another wood grain background. Quite fond of the wood grain background. Wow, that's an odd mixture of colors there. I wonder what the, the backs are. Let's see if I can flip this without causing chaos. I especially like the carrot pattern. It's quite fun. Quite fun. So these are all the A sides, if I would guess, and the other sides, the one that I pulled out that I liked, are all the B sides. Not a surprise. Not a surprise. Okay. So, I have a wood grain, and I really like the look of this with the wood grain. I love these two colors together. So I think... I'm going to do something very, very true to me and do pink and teal and wood grain. Yeah, it's very true. Very true. I'm wondering if I should grab some cardstock to throw in with these. So we um kind of a weird assortment of colors here. This is like a coral. This one has like a hot pink and a lighter hot pink and green and teal. So I bet these two would go together. This has some green in it. It's the same green. Quite honestly, I can't tell them apart. Um, and there's some yellow in there too. I wonder if this yellow is a good match. Yes, it is. So this is going to be a layout very different color scheme for me. Very different. Oh, sorry. I forgot that that shakes the camera. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. All right. So, what first drew my attention was these three. I really like these together, these three. They're very different. Like, this is, you know, it's, it kind of fades to navy, but it's really pretty. But I really like this together. So I'm gonna do that one. And then I think these actually, I don't mind them together, if I'm being honest. I don't mind these two together. They're from very different collections. This is Everyday Eclectic, which is old, 2012. It has this scallop on the other side, which I don't like as much because of this minty green color. So I think I'm going to put those two together and I will pair it with a sheet of white cardstock. Let me grab from over here. I have tons of white cardstock. Definitely not a shortage in my scrapbook room of the white cardstock. So I'm going to put those three together. And that will also make a layout. And then this is, um, I just saw it so I wanted to pull it out for for that album that I'm making. I'm gonna put it with the album on the shelf. So let's count now. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
two, three, four, Maybe it was with that. Nine. And ten. So ten page kits. Most of these pages have three, or most of these kits have three sheets of pattern paper, which means that there's 30 sheets of Echo Park pattern paper that I'm going to be using for the month. Now, for my tool selection, I was going to use the Mickey Punch and Star Punch. I'll still pull out my Star Punches. So I have several Star Punches. Um, I guess I have three. Stars are, you know, these are different. This one has rounded um, parts at the top. I pull it up. The little points are rounded and these ones, they're it's straight, pointy. Um, I have another punch too, but I don't see it in here. Let's see. So stars. I'm going to be scrapping board games. So maybe instead of my Mickey punch, I pull out my label punch and use it. That being said, my punches are right beside me. So if I want any of them, I can just grab them and use them. Um, I use them a lot more now that they are right beside me than when they were spread out everywhere. It was a bit of an issue. But I wonder, I'm almost positive that I have a stamp set that's like a, a board game themed stamp set. So this is how I store my stamps. They're just in a container. Can't really show you the container because I'll spill them everywhere. Okay, let's see. Lots of Disney. Oh, this one would work well um, for that. It has an enamel dot stuck to the back of it, but it's family. Oh, and the one picture that I'm going to be scrapbooking is my husband and I playing board games. So that would work well. I'm going to pull out this one too because I think I'm going to use this to scrapbook some of the photos for that album that I was talking about and it's for um, my mom's dog who passed away. I really thought I had like a board game stamp set. Maybe it's a close to my heart one. Oh, for using stars, I'm going to pull out my star label stamp. And then when I get to them, I will pull out the stamps. Because the stamp, I have this, this is the stamp set, but the dies are in the back of this. So. Okay, well, it's not in there. I feel like thought I had a, a stamp set that was board games. Let's see. I have another basket. These are my close to my heart stamps. And my stamps that are too big to fit that one. So like my title builder stamps and stuff. Oh, I have this one that says let's stay home and play. Maybe that's what I was thinking of. I swear that... And I had one that was all board game themed though. But maybe I don't. Maybe I'm just making things up. 
It is possible. I have a lot of stamps. These aren't even all my stamps. These are just the ones that I've found. Um, because I still haven't unpacked everything from when I moved my scrapbook room down here. But. So I have a bunch of stamps. So I'm going to use stamps and my star punches. And there's one more stamp set that I want to pull out that I haven't used yet. That I want to get used. Oh, that's not good. There's this one that I have not used, but this is the one I was thinking of. Um, is this it? This is it. This is Title Builder 4 from El Studio, Ellie Studio. So I want to see if anything on here will work um, with the layouts that I made. So this is what I'm going to use to scrapbook this month. Um, at least some of my scrapbooking for the month. So uh, stay tuned for me using all of these apparently stamps and pattern papers. Um, I will pull out embellishments um, as I go because I don't like to pull them out with the kit. It doesn't work well for me. So I will pull them out as I go. I will make some with the stamps. Although I don't have a lot of stamps with images on them, this one does. This heart one. I really want to use this heart stamp. And uh, these labels, obviously. I can make. I'll probably use the star ones. Um, I think they have heart ones now. They have heart alphabets that match the large Jane one. So uh, I will probably be purchasing those. But yeah. So this is my assortment of Echo Park paper and products to use for the month and I will see you soon hopefully with a layout um, using these products. Now I'm going to be honest it might not get posted um, for a long time because I have a lot of videos that are scheduled to go up so it's January you may not be seeing this until like April which hopefully will mean that I'm in Disney because that's when we're scheduled to go to Disney now. So fingers crossed everyone that when you see this, I have been to Disney or I'm in Disney. <laughs> so here's hoping. Thanks for watching everyone. Happy crafting. Bye-bye.